Hi, you know, I didn't think I'd still be making these videos um, a couple of years down the line. Um, I thought when Extinction Rebellion was, were engaged in their stance in 2019, um, there would sort of be a phase and it would hit peak and then evaporate out. But I think what's happened is we've seen all these offshoots. Interlate Britain was arguably the most infuriating of all because they were directly hurting motorists, um, which was even worse than the sort of vandalism and stunts that Extinction Rebellion were involved in. Um, so I think it's fair to say that Interlate Britain was probably the worst. Um, but there are other offshoots, just stop oil. Their activists at the Tunnel and Grey's Essex have uh, actually claimed the police have a duty of care towards them, and we demand that the police do what we say. Um, well, one of the latest groups to emerge is Animal Rebellion. I don't know when they were formed, but they're another offshoot of... I think all these groups overlap. I think they're all interconnected. They're probably funded by the same people. Um, and I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but, you know, this takes a degree of organisation. Um, but anyway, this group, Animal Rebellion, the same group apparently that went out onto the Silverstone race course earlier this year, an incredible act of stupidity that endangered themselves, endangered the jockeys. Um, well, actually, the, the I've lost track of the number of incidents. There was one involving the Silverstone motor racing. That may have actually been injured, but I don't know. You lose track of it because there's so many of these incidents. Um, but this particular stunt by Animal Rebellion, they have went into four Marks and Spencer's branches in four cities, London, Birmingham, Southampton, and Manchester, I believe, was the fourth one. And they've just sat down in front of the dairy aisles, ostensibly to prevent people buying milk and cheese. Um, now, um, I wonder, is it just four branches because they're the main branches, or is it just that they don't have enough numbers to go to every single store in the country? Um, I don't know what it is, but... This is a good example of their utter contempt for democracy and utter contempt for you and me. Um, and I hope that reasonable vegans will be speaking out and condemning this ridiculous behaviour. Um, I'm going to read a, a comment, actually. I thought this was quite interesting because sometimes people come out, most people condemn it, which is the rational thing to do. Some people um, will say, oh, but if we listen to what they're actually saying instead of getting angry with them, well, firstly, I don't think people who hold the country to ransom have any rights to make demands of the rest of us. Uh, that's the first thing. But anyway, I thought this comment was interesting. Um, it's from a guy called Mark Hadley, so credit to him. It's from the Facebook post. If he comes across this, I hope he won't mind me quoting him. I think he's talking a lot of sense. Anyone who is familiar with the landscape and ecology of the West Country and horticulture such as that would make most sustainable and efficient land use for food production. I'm just speaking for where I live, applicable to other places like Wales, Lancashire, Cumbria. Or to realise and understand that switching to plant-based, 100% as they're campaigning for, is unsustainable. I'm all for some for some rewilding, um, but grazing pasture and landscapes of poor soil is much better land use, and any radical short-term repurposing of the current landscape would not be viable or desirable. If this movement wants to bring such change, it should go about it in a democratic way, not force or partly flawed views on the public. And he's got 58 likes for that. Um, this is the thing. For all their pontificating, leave aside their tactics, their obnoxious, appalling tactics. Their plans are not actually sustainable. I mean, if you look at what these people are arguing for, it's the same with the eco groups. They're just not sustainable. They're not realistic. I honestly think that um, they want a situation where we are all living in kind of huts with no electricity, where we have a completely plant-based diet, which I'm not a nutrition a nutritionist, but I imagine that isn't sustainable for everyone. Um, what if someone's got allergies to certain plant products? I mean, are you going to deny them eating? <laughs> it's... Um, I I think that, you know, that is the sort of dystopian hellscape that they want. They're actually very antisocial. They're very, um, 
they seem to have a contempt for humanity. You know, so they, they say that they're doing this for the rest of us and for their children, but they're absolutely antisocial. And what you really have here is a small group of people that probably amount to a few hundred people nationwide, a few thousand at the very most, if we include all the groups, Extinction Rebellion and so on. If you look at the page, they have, I think, Extinction Rebellion's about 200,000 likes. But actual hardcore activists is probably more a couple of thousand. Um, what you really have is a small minority of people. I call it the dictatorship of the minority or the tyranny of the minority. They say that it's, it's part of democracy to have peaceful protests. Well, it's questionable if this is peaceful. I question if deliberately seeking to hurt the wider public is, is a peaceful act. That's very different from holding up a placard um, in a rally. Um, even if they were outside the supermarket, I would say as long as they're not harassing people, that would be exercising legitimate protest. But physically sitting down at the, those aisles, stopping people. Now, what are they going to do when a customer reaches over to get the milk? Are they going to put up their hand and try to physically stop them doing it? I honestly think that most of them tend to be women. There's some men among them. I think they should get female police officers to drag them away, quite honestly. I don't think, I don't believe in negotiating with extremists. I don't think they have a right to make demands of the rest of us. I think that it is unacceptable and disgusting that a small group of extremists think that they can make demands of the rest of us. And I really urge uh, any vegans out there, I'm sure they are, condemn this because this is the sort of thing that gives veganism a bad name um i mean this is the truth to many people in the public they think vegan they think um this but they only represent a small number of vegans um i know people who are vegans who are, are responsible they won't go about these measures i i'll be honest i don't quite get veganism i don't quite see the ethical argument of drinking milk versus meat, I get vegetarianism, I don't quite get the vegan argument, I respect it in the sense that in a democracy, people, you know, I respect it comes from a point of view of conviction, I respect the fact that there probably are things that should be done in the industry in a better way, and I think there probably, to be fair, is things going on in both the meat industry and the dairy industry that probably are shocking and probably are unethical and need to drastically improve. Okay, so put pressure on that. This is the thing. When you start targeting the public, you're not going to get the public on side. Now, I, I'm not saying this to animal rebellion because I don't think you can negotiate with extremists. It will, it will go through deaf ears. It will go in one ear and out the other because they don't care about public opinion. They've, they've stated this. They don't care. They just don't care. Um, so I don't think, I think it's a waste of time trying to negotiate with them and debate with them and get them to see reason. They have said, we're going to do what we think is right and we the hell with everyone else. That's basically what they're saying. And I don't know if it's a bit of egoism involved, like there, some of it is this need for attention, um, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. So saying, oh, but uh, look at the, this is, you know, look at what's forced them to do this. Well, if... If people could argue that they felt so strongly about an issue that it forced them to, into this position, then anyone could do whatever they want, basically. It's a recipe for anarchy. I mean, I feel very, very strongly about our justice system. I mean, no secret of that. I feel very strongly that there is a disconnect between the legal establishment and the people. But if I were to, for example, barge into a court of law during proceedings, sit down and um, you know, demand that it changed, that wouldn't help anyone. It wouldn't help victims of crime. All, all that would happen would be I'd be physically removed and it would get a bit of attention. It wouldn't actually help anyone. So I think it's better to forcefully campaign. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very frustrated and one does feel powerless, but I do not accept that it is ever legitimate to hurt fellow citizens. And you're hurting them by preventing them going about their daily life. That's harmful behaviour. I think it's just as bad as antisocial behaviour. I honestly think this sort of thing is really, it's just as bad as some antisocial drunks. Um, okay, maybe not quite as bad because it's not quite as direct. They're not going to people's homes. So 
I'll retract that. But I don't know though where where is this going to end? It's like they're thinking. It's like they get together in a little little room and think, how are we going to piss off the public today? They're absolutely. The absolute failure to introspect speaks volumes. Now, they no doubt want the attention and they're succeeding in that, but is it good attention? I mean, if they're thinking, well, we'll get attention and this will get people debating about the issue, very few people are actually debating the issues. And those that are, are questioning them, questioning their solutions. I do think they're extremists because they're basically saying we believe this is the only way to do it to hell with everyone else. That is the mindset of an extremist. That's how terrorists think. I do think they're a borderline domestic terrorist. I don't think that's hyperbole. To be engaged in terrorist activity, you don't need to be engaged in violence. Terrorism actually, um, under, I believe it's the 2000 terrorism bill, is defined, uh, defined as actions that hold the country to ransom, hold the government to ransom, or hold the public to ransom in order to push a political agenda. That's what they're doing. They believe the dairy trade is unethical, so they are deciding to hurt the public because if they, if they put enough pressure on us, we'll just stop buying milk. I'm sure as hell not going to stop buying milk. I like milk in the coffee, okay? I could take black coffee, but I'm sure as hell not going to pander to the demands of a bunch of extremists. If they want to convince me to veganism, then let them talk to me. Let them say, uh, this is the way to do it. If they physically stop me buying an everyday product that is sustainable for the British diet, you know, they've lost my attention. They have lost my attention. They've utterly failed in terms of getting public goodwill on their side. Because the public are fed up with them. They're fed up with animal rebellion. They're fed up with insulate Britain. They're fed up with extinction rebellion. They're fed up with stop, just stop oil. These groups are doing nothing but adding more stress to the public at a time when people are already under pressure from rising living costs. The last thing people want is a bunch of eco-extremists and animal rights activists thinking that they can make demands of the rest of us. It's a disgrace. It's absolutely undemocratic. It's obnoxious. Um, and it's a disgrace. I do think that they should be dragged away. I don't think it should be a case of, oh, please, can you get up? Because they won't listen to that. They're not going to do that. As for arrests, I understand that they think that they're martyrs. They probably want to be arrested. But you cannot have a situation where people are stopping the general public from going about their daily lives. So I do think, I say female officers because a lot of them are women, and the last thing you'd want is in making accusations against male officers simply for doing their job. Um, I happen to believe in equal opportunity, so I think that if someone's breaking the law, I don't think they should get special treatment because they're a woman, but just to, you know, evade any complexities in that department. Um, yeah, get female officers to drag them away. If if they refuse to go, drag them by force. It's not a peaceful protest. Th this is the thing. I think that this whole thing of peaceful protest is put out there because, oh, well, there's a lack of physical violence. They're not throwing punches. They're not throwing petrol bombs. But they are hurting the public. That is not peaceful. It's not. Um, and really, it's time that this country stood up to these um, extremists who think that they can hold the rest of us to ransom. It's disgusting behavior. And there needs to be serious pushback against them. Like I say, arresting them, they see that as a badge of honour. I think it should be the procedure, but I think there can be other things looked at. Who is funding them? Cut off the sources. If they're pensioners, I would say freeze their assets. I think there needs to be significant pressure put on these people. If they're students, cut off their student funding. Um, I honestly think there should be severe financial... Um, you know, some people mistakenly say, oh, they're, they're unemployed. They, why don't they have a job? That's a mistake, actually. A lot of them have jobs. I think pressure can be put on their employers. If they're found out to be working for a particular company, pressure that company to fire them. I think they need to face some pressure for a change. Because they think they've got a right to put pressure on the rest of it. I think more can be done. Pressure the companies that employ them. If they are, for example, a retired doctor, or if they're even a serving doctor or a serving clergyman or a clergywoman, um, put pressure on the church, put pressure on the NHS to fire them. Um, 
Why? Because it's bringing the company into disrepute. I think more can be done. Um, but it is absolutely unacceptable, intolerable. Um, and when we talk about dictatorships as kind of a strongman type figure like Putin and, um, and others, and that is a dictatorship, but I do believe you can have a tyranny of the minority. This is a good example. We have a small bunch of zealots who think that they can hold a country to ransom, who think they can hold the rest of us to ransom. This is absolutely the personification of the tyranny of the minority. And it's it's abhorrent. They need to be pushed back against it. But mark my words, they're not going to stop at this. As it stands, this is four supermarkets in four cities, but they they never give up. They will always find new ways to target the public. And there needs to be a really. Um, I definitely would make them prescribed organisations. Insulate Britain, Extinction Rebellion, Animal Rebellion, and Just Stop Oil. I would prescribe them as organisations because of their extreme tactics, because they are hurting the public, not for their views. This is a misconception. James O'Brien falsely claimed on LBC that uh, these eco-activists were arrested for protesting. That's a lie. They were not arrested for protesting. They were arrested for highway um, violations, for road safety violations. Anyway, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you are vegan, I know one of my subscribers is incidentally, uh, Tomu, I know that you, you've mentioned your views on veganism. Um, what's your take on this? I appreciate that you may have strong views on the issues around ethics in the dairy industry, but I hope you would recognise that this sort of strategy is an utter failure. Um, and based on the things that you've said before, I think you would. Okay, thanks for watching, people. Let me know your thoughts.